Hi guys, this is Agota from Rose Gold and I would like to show you some different ways how to decorate your own roll-on bottles. Are you ready? Let's do this! Today I'm going to show you how to sprinkle your bottle with two different ways. Okay, before we start, I just want to let you guys know that these glitter bottles are available in my Etsy shop. You can buy a single or a set of six glitter bottles. The set of six comes in a nice box with two clear stone roll balls, two droppers and two sprays which are interchangeable. Okay, I'm going to show you two different techniques to glitter up a roller bottle, so you can choose the easiest for you. Now, first I'm going to clean the bottles with alcohol to remove all the grease and dust. I'm going to decorate a clear roller bottle and a painted one. So let's wait a few seconds until they dry. I put hooks in the bottle so it will be easier to hang them to dry. <clears throat> I'm gonna start with the painted one. If you don't have any hooks, check out my art and craft supplies video for bottle art. I'm gonna use the sparkling glass paint, which is a quick drying solvent based glass paint. You need to shake it well. There is a small bowl inside that helps to mix the glitter with the glass paint. Solvent-based glass colors are superior glass colors, which are waterproof, give a shining effect and don't create bubbles on applying. They are very user-friendly. So you need painted glass for the sparkling glass paint if you want a fully covered, non-transparent bottle. Okay, it's ready. As you can see, the first layer did not completely cover the bottle. It looks nice like this too with the blue background. However, in this video, I want to show you how to create a fully glittered bottle. So after drying, I will go for a second coat. Okay, let's see the other method. You will need a transparent bottle. I put the hook in it. You also need Mod Podge Gloss. This water-based all-in-one sealant, glue and finisher has so many uses besides getting your glitter to stick. This gloss finish adds that extra bit of sparkle to your finished product. Of course, you need extra fine glitter too. Quickly add a light layer of glue to the bottle with a brush. Grab a bowl to collect all the falling glitter. Then shake a generous amount of glitter over the bottle while the glue is still wet. Be sure to turn the glass as you work, allowing some of the glitter to fall and move around the glue area. Continue until there is no white glue showing. You may notice the first layer is a bit spotty or transparent and this is normal. Sometimes you will need two or three layers of glitter to get good coverage and the best result. Mm -hmm. 
Now look at this. It's fully covered, nice sparkling. And let it dry overnight. Okay, we are back at the other bottle. It's dry. As you can see, it's not fully covered with the glitter. Let's put an extra coat on it. Now first shake the glass paint until you can see the glitter on the top of the paint. And then paint the bottle. Okay, it's much better. It looks like I could cover the bottle fully with the glitter. But let's wait until it's dry. This bottle with the extra fine glitter is also dry. As you can see, the glitter comes off as I heat the bottle. Now, you see? The glitter sticks to my finger. So to prevent this, you can seal the bottle. When you are ready to set the final layer, simply take out a small amount of glue to a cup and mix it together with some glitter. Then apply a layer to the glittered bottle. Okay, it's done. Let dry it overnight. Okay, both bottles are dry. Both are nice. No glitter coming off. You see? They have texture, but you can use them like this. I use a lapis lazuli gemstone with the bottles. It's matching with the color and you can get the benefit of the gemstone. You can choose a silver or a gold cap. And that's it. Honestly, I like the one with the glitter on it the most. Okay, as I said, you can use the bottles with the glue or paint on them, but if you would like to have a smooth bottle, you should seal it with gel or resin. I like resin more because the glitter takes a lot of gel. Normally you need two layers of gel to get the smooth surface. I'm gonna post a video later this week about how to use epoxy resin and uh, you will find that link in the description. Okay, let's see the difference between the two sealing methods. This one was covered with one layer of gel and as you can see, it still has texture. I don't know if you can see it, but I can feel it. 
The other one was covered with resin and it's nice and smooth. So if you use the gel for sealing, you need another layer to get a smooth finish. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and tap the notification bell. Also check out my Etsy shop, you can find there these bottles and more. Send us a picture if you create one of these, we love seeing your creativity. If you use Instagram, please use the hashtag RoseGoyleDIY and it will show up on our page. Thanks for watching, happy crafting!